something a little bit interesting. If you haven't seen the previous video, go check it out. I actually let my boy Gartrell, aka No Lift Garage, take a drive in the STI. But today, we have someone else. So, let me just show you real quick his car. Some of you may have seen this in some of our other videos on No Lift Garage. But in case you haven't, this is my buddy Will who had the Yamaha R6. This is his 2020 WRX. And we'll go a little further in depth later on once I go ahead and take a spin in this. But first, I wanted to go ahead and get his reactions to driving my 2019 STI. So let's just get right to it. All right, so we're back in the car. As you can see, I got my boy Will in the driver's seat. We're gonna go ahead and uh, take this thing for a spin. Any any pre expectations, Will? What are you What are you thinking? I don't know. I this really is your first time know. driving an STI, right? Well, I drive the ones well, at work. At work, but not worked on. No. Right, right, right. So we'll gotcha. see how this is. All right, sweet. Let's raise the windows up real quick.
pops. Awesome. I'm still happy with my car though. I was just about to ask that question next. I was about to say, so now that you've driven this, would you still have made the same decision? Yes. Only reason why? Don't like the steering. Interesting, guys. See, for everybody's different, right? So for me, I like a heavy steering. I like a heavy, I guess, more direct steering feel because I feel like I'm more connected with what the tires are doing. Not everybody feels the same. I've been driving with cars that have pretty loose steering anyway, so that's mm -hmm. what I'm used to. So yeah, I, mean, I guess after Plus a while that. I got used to it. But. Right. Well, that and in comparison, the WRX does have heavier steering than like an Impreza. Yeah. You know, no, that definitely does. It's just the WRX in comparison to the STI, the STI is a little bit of a heavier steering feel, you know? All right, cool. Well, you guys heard it here first. Will said he would still enjoy his WRX, which is pretty awesome because that means he made a good decision. Especially when I do the work on it. Yep, exactly. <laughs> so in case you guys don't already know, my boy Will here actually works at a Subaru dealership in Queens. So if you're interested in anything Subaru, even parts, or even service hit him up i'll put his link down in the description box below now it's my turn to drive his wrx or just call me at copel super or do that all right so now it is my turn to drive the wrx my guy got the nice wrx <laughs> with the power seats oof I might have moved it too far back, but I wanted to give you guys a good idea of this interior. Mm -hmm. There's the other two WRX and STIs that were here with us. Nice. Let's put this on auto. Let me get my seat adjusted real quick. And yeah, we'll take off. All right. So, jumping in the WRX, what do I notice different? Nothing. <laughs> the steering wheel feels nearly identical, which it probably is 100% identical, except mine has a little bit of preparation on here, whereas uh, Will's is full leather wrapped. The shifter, I do feel a little bit difference in the weight. You know, even just jiggling it in neutral, oh well, it feels a lot heavier I want to say I'm not sure how to explain it into words but anywho let's feel off this clutch real quick okay not bad oh this is way easier to drive holy cow I barely gave it any gas just now in first taking off all right so with the WRX of course there you don't get to choose your driver mode so it's always at full tilt so we don't got to worry about doing anything make it go from room the traffic head out interesting feel on the clutch pedal the engagement point is actually more towards the center whereas on the STI it's a little bit higher up Gentle this time. <laughs> you gotta feel the car, you know, you gotta get to know it. 
Ah, dude. Take up every lane on the road, lol. Bruh. I do feel like boost in my car does hit a little bit harder. But maybe that's because of the way the RPMs are set up. I'm pretty sure in your car will... When do you get into boost? Like right around 2,000? 2,500? Yeah, so I'm in boost much sooner. So it's way more linear because of that fact. Whereas in the STI, boost hits a little bit later, probably around 3,000, 3,500. So when it does hit, it, it feels a little bit more aggressive, I guess, is a good way to put it. we'll just draw it I'm like oh crap let me slow down now one other thing too which is pretty nice when you're in between shifts when you're getting on it I was shifting at what like I want to say maybe 60 667 when you're in between shifts it gives you like a nice whap I don't know how else to describe it in the exhaust yep. you know which is really nice it's like a, a whipple of air it sounds sick yeah. One thing I will mention, which me and Will were actually just talking about, the only thing that could use some love is the brakes. I feel like if you either upgrade your pads um, to a more aggressive set, you would get a more immediate bite. Or even, in this case, upgrading the whole brake system in general would do you justice in this car. But you also have to remember, I mean, this is a two-piston floating style caliper, so there's not really that much bracing versus like the STI, which has a monoblock, yeah. right? So I feel like if you just did that SF intake with the access port and then flash it to stainage one plus, I feel like it would improve the drivability 100%. I feel like it'll fix the issue of the rev hang when you're, you know, in between gears and things like that. It also fix the throttle response. It'll make it a lot more direct and immediate. Um, and then of course, it's also gonna optimize the power band. You know, it's gonna make boost kick in more efficiently and stuff like that. But yeah, I mean, other than that, this car is pretty awesome. Do I miss the SI drive? Uh, I like it because it gives you a choice, you know? And um, with the adjustable diff, to be honest with you, that for me isn't crazy important. I haven't really messed with it that much. I usually just leave it in auto. But yeah, I'd just say the motor and the, the trans and the STI, I prefer prefer the brakes. Of course, I prefer the rumble. This, unfortunately, doesn't have a rumble. But Tomei released the unequal length headers, which still haven't hasn't had that much R&D done. But that might be a good option. almost forgot what gear I was in, Rip. <laughs> Too much talking. Anyway, thanks, Will, for letting me drive your car. Hope you enjoyed driving the STI. Um, and yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you see, consider subscribing. Don't forget to share it with your friends. We got all of our social medias down in the description box below. If you want to see how to install R400 on your car, check out No Lift Garage. And other than that, I'll tell you guys on the next one. Don't forget, never stop growing. Peace.